Did everyone take the same massive sigh of relief when they saw Brian Costello's tweet? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo, and we finally got some updates on Zach Wilson and what's going on with his knee. According to Brian Costello, who tweeted about 10 minutes ago at this point, Jets QB Zach Wilson has a bone bruise and meniscus tear per sources. He will miss two to four weeks. He will get a second opinion, but that is the belief right now. He goes on to say there is a chance the doctors will find something different once they go in to fix the meniscus, but right now it is good news for Zach and the Jets. And he also tweets, it's important to note Wilson's meniscus only needs a trim, not a full repair per sources. <clears throat> Guys, this is ultimately the best case scenario for what it is, especially if the expectation is that he is going to miss two to four weeks. Um, that will put him right in line for week one or week two uh, to make his return. And ultimately, we can just put to bed all of this, woe is me, the sky is falling, all of that crap that was coming out of Jets fans and like just the Jets camp. Uh, not like from like the staff or like the actual team. I just mean like people who are supposed to be Jets fans. It's not that serious of an injury. Um, <clears throat> he obviously still has to go through the surgery and we still have to get in there and see if there's anything else. But all signs point to us having Zach Wilson for a good chunk of next year. He... He probably is going to get hounded by his by the entire coaching staff that like, hey, you don't do this. Um, I would be surprised if Mark Sanchez isn't calling the kid and being like, what are you doing? Because you don't have to take that hit. You're a quarterback. That extra two or three yards isn't that important. We can get it on the next play. We've got running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends who are built to take that kind of contact and make those kinds of moves. You don't need to win every single rep. But ultimately, good news, guys. I'm really, really excited. I know that I was pretty stressed uh, last night and this morning, waiting, 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 and waiting. But this is great news. It's just a meniscus tear. It's just a bone bruise. Whew. We'll have our franchise quarterback back in the building sooner rather than later. Let's hope it's closer to the two-week timeline so that we can have him under center against the Ravens. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this something good? Is it something bad? Is this something that we should worry about? Is there a quarterback out there that you think that we should go get still? I think we're all good. I don't think we need to do anything. Even if Zach were to go out for a majority of the season, I would much rather just run it with Joe Flacco than go out and trade for a quarterback. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know I'm breathing a massive sigh of relief there's a weight lifted off my shoulders and everything is good in the world zach is not hurt in a major major way we'll see him sooner rather than later last but not least go jets